In this video, I want to talk a little bit more as far as just general effects in Audacity. Now you can also see I kind of have two windows open. I have both the plugin uh, web page, which I will also include in the YouTube links, but also too, I have that demo project that we've been working on here. Now, before I dive in and talk about effects, they can be really helpful as far as both in terms of cleaning up your audio, getting rid of things like background noises, uh, you know, helping as far as the reverbs are concerned, anything along those lines, or, you know, trying to do some equalization. My opinion is you really want to try to have one, multiple recordings done of your audio. That way you have different versions to work with. But number two, you want to try to get the audio the way you want it when you first record it. There's only so much, it's kind of like, there's only so much that these effects can do to help fix your audio. It's almost like in video or in uh, photography or graphics. If you have a bad video uh, clip or you have a poor photograph, it's still going to be bad no amount of overhauling and cranking your plugins or effects, etc., to maximum could fix it. So that's just a side note here. And that's really the mindset that I take when I'm thinking about effects in any of mul the multimedia projects that I work in. Now, in Audacity itself, so here's that little project I've been using as a theme here, just showcasing the pieces. Up on the main menu bar, and let me actually bring up my magnifier. I'm gonna bring this up here and zoom in. Okay, so up on the top here, you do have an effects drop down, and you can see that when I click, I can actually highlight specific tracks. They'll have that kind of grayish outline there that I can come in and bump this to the side. I can come in and clean up as far as some of my filters are concerned. So I can also add different types of, you know, spectral tools, distortion, etc. Now, another thing that you can do, I want to also show you, let me zoom back out here, is under effect, you also have that plugin manager. This is a little bit more advanced and it'll show you what is currently built in, but also for each of the effects, what is currently enabled in the software. And one thing to draw your attention to that if you decide to get more in depth with plugins, especially when it comes to Audacity, I wanna show two things as far as paths are concerned. Notice for noise reduction. This is built in directly to the program. However, things, for example, here like notch filter, notice that it's actually giving me a directory as far as where this is stored. So while it is enabled, this was external to Audacity and had to be installed as a plugin in the plugin folder. Now, some of these, yes, they're external plugins. They were also included as far as the overall elements here whenever I installed the software. And just so you can see, you can go through and look at what is disabled. So you have the classic filters, which really are kind of, oh, some software packages will say, you know, call them depreciated, that, you know, they're going away, you shouldn't be utilizing them. But really anything that is turned on and auto enabled, you're gonna be fine as far as working with those. So just to show you here, if I go ahead and come back and I'm going to actually mute the audio here and I'm going to come up and choose my audio, I could add in, uh, let's see here, maybe like phaser. As I'm lecturing here, you, you can, can preview as, as far as the phaser the audio is concerned, but notice too, it gives you tons of options before you actually choose to apply here, which can be really helpful as far as editing your audio pieces. Pretty much most of the effects do have these. Like for example here, like, you know, noise reduction. 
here, once again, you kind of get this lovely pop-up window that, you know, it'll actually listen for the noise profile and then it'll do its best as far as suggesting to you what do you want to do as far as getting rid of that background noise. The last item I want to draw your attention to directly in the Audacity interface is right along the edge here. You do have an effects button for each of your tracks here. So I could actually come in here and open up kind of a side window and add specific effects as far as either specific audacity ones, which you can see are some of the fun ones, but I can also click to get more effects, which will take me back out to that plugin page where I can come in, for example, pitch and tempo plugins, and it will go ahead and show you which kind of effects go with that. Also too, you can see as far as the installation process is concerned. So while you have some of the core basics inside of Audacity, there are additional plugins that you can go locate and download. Audacity even gives you a walkthrough on how to actually go through and install additional plugins if you so choose in their support documentation. And this is something, again, for a free piece of software, this can make life, you know, if you're not doing heavy hitting sound engineering, this is a great choice that if you need to do a podcast or if you need to do a short interview and then get it uploaded to uh, a podcast environment or onto a web page for a company, you don't need to be pulling out, you know, heavy hitting audio editing software. Now, I do have colleagues that'll go out and they will record, you know, the symphony. Uh, they can tell the difference between, you know, Heinz Hall versus, you know, um, a school auditorium. All those sorts of audio elements, sound engineers, their ears are very much trained to those things. We as multimedia developers and designers, it's more unfortunately or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, we have shorter time frames that in quicker turnarounds that sometimes we may just need to work with what we have. Like if the only time that I can talk to somebody is, uh, you know, if I'm doing a tour of uh, the best locations for Oktoberfest in Pittsburgh, I'm probably going to have a lot of background noise as far as atmosphere. So you work with what you have there. But to come back to it, that's kind of taking you through as far as effects are concerned. And again, whenever you're watching this on YouTube, I'll also include the direct links to the installing the plugins and the list of plugins that you can work with.